Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and what a day. I'm just glad that everything turned out okay. Wasn't the best I, I expected for Black Friday, but at least I got what I had to get in mind. Well, during Black Friday, um, I went to Walmart and Best Buy, but I did bought some other two Blu-rays earlier from Target wasn't a big selection sadly yeah because I heard Target had the worst in their prices and the worst part is they, they didn't have a good selection over there sadly and most of the good titles are way overpriced I wish it was part of that deal but I was really disappointed so and most of which were the ones I already got last year like such as Pulp Fiction Jackie Brown and all that, but there wasn't anything big, so it was just, and I was amazed that they got Dumb and Dumber on Blu-ray uh, for $4, which I already owned already, I bought it in 2009, anyway, I went to Walmart, and I only bought five Blu-rays, and I probably would have got some more too for what it's worth, but I decided I'll just wait on that, if that's okay. And I got some more, four Blu-rays at Best Buy, which we had a hard time because we couldn't find the, the two Blu-rays we were looking for, because they were supposed to have them at Walmart for a lot less. It was like $8, or at this rate, eight ninety six. dollars um, I wanted to get the movie Brave, along with Dr. Seuss's The Lorax. Those were good because I thought this would be worth having. I could have got some more movies though. Um, there were other titles I would have loved to own. But I'll tell you this though. Um, I was happy though that I, when I went to on one of those 196, uh, 396, and 796 um, Blu-rays and DVDs sections. And they were all in those red boxes. I actually spotted one of the worst movies ever on the shelves and they were on the ground one of my best moments of that is I actually kicked the DVDs well they weren't damaged or anything but it felt pretty much the same way and it was of course the devil inside and and those stupid uh, in time crap which I can't believe that's even on there with that stupid Justin Timberland go figure they have some good titles but not as much but on the other hand I did pick but anyway, um, but anyway, th this is what I got so far um, during Black Friday. Um, starting with the Walmart ones, I got the uh, I got Caddyshack, a great movie to own, especially on Blu-ray, and it has one of my favorite actors, Bill Murray, along with Chevy Chase. Um, yeah, I know they both didn't get along originally, but they were on screen, so that was cool. It also stars Rodney Dangerfield and Ted Knight, and of course Michael O'Keefe. Um, has a great cast. Uh, Cindy Morgan too, uh, before she went on to to star in the movie Tron, and of course you can see the Gopher <laughs> right here. Yeah. Great movie to own on Blu-ray. It only costs three ninety-six. Definitely a must own. And I also bought Blazing Saddles, a Mel Brooks movie that you you could really enjoy, which has the entire cast, including Gene Wilder, Cleveland Little, um, along with the late great Alex Karras. Um, I totally miss him. So, and also, uh, Mel Brooks, of course, with Harvey Corman, Madeline Kahn, and so on. <laughs> it's a great movie to watch. Um, it's right up there with Young Frankenstein, the producers, and of course, my personal favorite, Spaceballs. Yeah, I, I really love these movies. My next one, of course, I got is... The Grinch, or simply put, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, 
This is, of course, the uh, Jim Carrey version of it that's live action. And I really enjoyed this movie when I first saw this in theaters back in 2000. I really like this movie. I don't care what anybody says. I think it's definitely a must-buy. I still love the short cartoon with Boris Karloff doing the voice of the Grinch. Because I know Dark D'Souza's uh, stories as well as the cartoons, I mean, they're the best. But it's definitely a must-own. And I love the, the green, the, the green Blu-ray case. And it's hard-pressed, too. And the best part, and what's interesting about this, though, is that it has, uh, it's a two-disc set, but it has the DVD on one side. They put it on a DVD sleeve, so I guess it's okay. But it's still worth getting. Really enjoy that. And another movie I've gotten is another uh, Dr. Seuss uh, favorite, also starring with Jim Carrey, but with Steve Carell. Dr. Seuss's Horton Hears a Who. I really enjoy this movie a lot. It's definitely worth picking up for Blu-ray. And plus, it's a hard press case, thank goodness. No Eagle Box cases. I mean, the digital copy, of course, is useless, but at least you got the Blu-ray for it, so it still plays perfectly. And I really enjoy this movie. And, in fact, this is way better than The Cat in the Hat. Trust me on this one. I hated that movie, but I'm glad I got this one. But I love this movie along with The Grinch. And of course that leads to my other Dr. Seuss movie uh, on my next one. The other one of course, which I put it away but I had to replace the case because it got ruined, is Out for Justice, uh, which stars Steven Seagal. It's a 1991 film, which originally had a director's cut, or it seems to be, yeah, probably a director's cut, which had some scenes uh, missing. From its release but they never release it for DVD and Blu-ray so I know that sucks but other than that though it was definitely worth owning but okay back to that I got the other I, I finally got the for Best Buy because uh, I couldn't get it at uh, Walmart because they were sold out I got the Lorax um, Dr. Seuss's the Lorax Great movie. Uh, I thought it, it went as good as it seems to be. It has a great cast. Um, on the other hand, I didn't like Zac Efron. I am not a big fan of him because I'm not into that stupid high school musical crap because it sucks. I don't think he's not a good actor in my opinion, but I do like some of the other actors such as Danny DeVito, Ed Hems from The Office, along with Betty White. And of course, Taylor Swift. And I thought she was very good in this movie, in my opinion. You know, and I gotta admit, I like her songs, so I, I do tend to get some of her songs every now and then. Just to set the mood for it, because she is a very talented songwriter and everything. And I'd rather take her over, you know, that, that clown that we're getting nowadays. Yeah, I'm so disappointed that she didn't win. Uh, well, she won, but she didn't uh, win for Best in Wars again. Because I know it's that beaver needs to go forward. But anyway, I got E.T. the Extraterrestrial for the first time on Blu ray and DVD, which is the 30th anniversary edition. And I'm glad this came out, although originally I wanted to get the the Best Buy exclusive one which has the original you know, poster image that they used and I know they had that on the VHS and I really wanted to get that because it's also a digibook too but I really like the cover I mean it looks pretty good and very shiny looking so but this was a film I used to watch when I was a little kid I actually grew up watching this movie I always remember the quote in this movie that E.T. has ever said E.T. phone home yeah definitely the best that Steven Spielberg has ever directed right next to Jaws and Close Encounters of the Third Kind yeah, those are those are the good ones that Steven Spielberg has ever done but he still is one of my favorite directors
And of course, I got the Captain America, the first Avenger, $7.99 at the Best Buy. Good deal for me to buy because after owning the Avengers, I really want to get this movie. I couldn't find four though, sadly, but I really want to get that one too. And The Incredible Hulk as well. And that will complete this Avengers uh, collection if you think about that. Because I got Iron Man as well. So I, I love this. And I can't wait to see Iron Man free when it comes out. Because I already saw the trailer for that and it looks awesome. So hopefully it will be as good as it should be. Um, but either way, definitely pick this up. And last but not least... Brave. Yes. I had a hard time looking for this. And my and what really pissed me off though was that Best Buy has still had it for twenty nine ninety nine for this. So I, I felt so frustrating that since they didn't have this at Walmart, I wanted them to price match this. And I'm glad that they'd still do something like this because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be able to get this at all. But I'm so glad they price matched it to ten dollars at this rate, nine ninety nine. So it was a must own to, to get. But I really am happy. Anyway. I also got some more. Uh, I got two more Blu-rays that I bought, but it was wasn't the Black Friday theme. But I, but it would have been close. It one was uh, Red Dawn, the original. It was nine ninety nine. So I thought, why not? And the other one is the Punisher, the 2004 version. It's a theatrical version, of course. It's not the extended cut, but although I kind of wish Lionsgate did release that. But it was worth getting because I haven't seen the Punisher in quite a long time. In fact, I haven't seen it since it came out in theaters. I remember seeing that when I was still in college. So it was very fun. But that's all I had to say for now. This may be the first video I've done to show Blu-rays, um, although I haven't done DVDs. I'm not really into doing those Blu-ray and DVD updates nowadays, like Cool Duder or many others out there that's been doing them. But I'll tell you this, I have tons of movies all the way stocked up, especially on the back, back right here, right behind me, which is right here. <laughs> As you can see it, I'm sorry, I'm just having trouble trying to go to my direction, but I have a whole bunch of them all stocked up. I even have some more everywhere, but you get, you get what you pay for, so Black Friday wasn't the best, but I'm just glad that I got what I got, and hopefully I'm going to get some more movies that I've been waiting to get, and hopefully the prices will go down. I'm still excited for the movie Heavyweights to come out on Blu-ray, and yes, it is coming out. It's coming out on December 11th. I'm so there when I finally get that movie, and I'm, I'm really impressed. So anyway, uh, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.